If you want to learn why gently exfoliating morning and night is key to healthy skin, this is the video for you. Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare and a holistic master esthetician for almost 40 years who has helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of clients have beautiful, healthy skin without needles, procedures, or pills. And if you choose to do those things, you still have to take care of your skin and I want you to be happy and to love who you are and still be here. This is the beginning of a series that I will be doing for July. This will probably come out the end of June on each and every product if you're a peach, but if you're not a peach, it's going to help you understand what is important for healthy skin. You can also visit us on Facebook where we also have a private Facebook group of like-minded, incredible individuals who will give you their stories, give you their testimonials, and really just be there to support you as a woman or man who wants to age with grace, who is in their 20s and struggling with things, or in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and up. You can follow us on Instagram and you can also visit us at peachesskincare.com where you will learn about my holistic, uh, natural, organic, vegan, um, cruelty-free skincare products that I call food for your skin that are game changers. And you always get me as your personal holistic master esthetician and the CEO of the company, complimentary. So let's get into it. Um, a lot of you are going to ask, I had, I think, 9,000 new people last month. Um, I am Lisa. I am 58 and a half years old. I wear no foundation or concealer in these videos. We do not filter these videos. Someone said, well, yeah, but you filter them. No, I don't. And we do um, try to use the natural light in this room. And we have a couple lights over to, well, no, we don't. We just are using the natural light in this room, which is typically what I do. Um, I'm going to go over what is important for healthy skin. Now, Harvard University did a study uh, probably 10 to 15 years ago, and that study's been redone. People will ask me and just look it up. Essentially, antioxidants are the only thing that actually penetrate and create cellular change in the skin. And they showed that most products just sit on top of the skin like goo, in all honesty. They really don't do anything. Clean beauty is a marketing term. Please be mindful of that. We are on three different lists that I don't even mention because they don't always tell you why an ingredient is in a product or how much. And so I don't love a lot of the lists. Um, be mindful again that just clean beauty is a marketing term, a beauty term, and it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Only one ingredient out of 10 might be clean. It is why many companies list their ingredients on the box and then you throw it away. And very few do what we do and list every single ingredient on the bottom. And before someone inevitably writes me and says, I was going to use your products, but you use say phenoxethenol, you have to understand that my chemist and I work closely. We talk with our manufacturers every day, literally every day. And I've been doing this for almost 40 years. When we use something like that, we use less than 1% in a vat, and it is something that stabilizes the product so it doesn't grow fungus and bacteria. And those that tell you they're using radish root or things such as that, it does not work. We have tried it numerous times, and there are studies that show it still grows bacteria and fungus in the product, which can be really dangerous for your skin. Okay, uh, Flawless Exfoliator. If you are a peach, if you are not, this is our prescription sheet, and you can download it at peachesskincare.com on the Frequently Asked Questions page, and this is essentially a how to do the routine. Never be overwhelmed if you're new to this. It takes a few mornings, minutes in the morning, and a few minutes at night. And once you get into a rhythm, it is so easy, and you start seeing changes. Anything worth having takes time. If you work out, you wanna work out for at least 20 to 30 minutes a day. If you go for a walk, you wanna walk for at least 20 to 30 minutes a day. To make a healthy meal may take 20 to 30 minutes a day. This is literally a few minutes in the morning and a few minutes at night. And any peaches out there, help me. Comment below, share your testimonial. Let's touch lives in these videos. So what do I mean by exfoliating? So peaches, and if you're not a peach, 
These are the new bottles. If you have an old bottle, the product is not old. Those are just bottles we have had. We have been working on our new logo for two and a half years and we are thrilled with this. Many of you know I tried to do a lot of glass and it was a disaster. We also don't have airless pumps and people were very upset about that because they wanted to get all their product out. So these are our second generation plastic. These are our new bottles. If you have an old bottle, it's not old, but I'm going to show you all the new bottles in these videos. Flawless Exfoliator. You want to use something that is physical. You don't want to use a chemical to peel your skin or exfoliate. You don't want to use harsh, uh, you know, walnuts or, um, oh gosh, I've seen so many microdermabrasion crystal uh, creams. You want microdermabrasion done in a salon by a professional master esthetician. What this is, is blueberries, coffee, Go to cola, pomegranate, hibiscus, the Botox flower, so many incredible natural and organic elements that are antioxidants for your skin. When you're exfoliating, you are essentially helping that callus layer that we form on our skin by our early 20s. Um, if you're new to my channel, we do most of our damage by our early 20s, and this is even documented in the Journal of Medicine. And because of that, our skin thickens and calluses to protect itself, locking in a lot of bacteria and fungus and just making your skin look dull, making wrinkles look deeper than they need to be and dull. As we start to remove that callus layer, we have, okay, I wanna digress. We have natural fungus and bacteria always on our skin. It's when we leave an opening for it with bad skincare products, bad sunscreen, foundation and concealer, even the water in your home can be bad for your skin. You've got to, you know, you may want to check it. It doesn't matter if it's hard or soft, just may have too many things in it. When that happens, we activate those things, but if your skin is constantly almost putting a wrapping over that, it's locked in. So. I usually get one every few months of someone who sends this back and says, I broke out immediately. Um, they don't even give it a minute. When we're removing that film, if you will, think of it as like a little covering over each pore that is actually a hair follicle. We are finally allowing the sebum, dirt, oil, dead dry skin to release. Pores are only hair follicles. They get stretched and scarred by sebum, dirt, oil, and dead dry skin. And when we start to clean it out and we start to purge it out and you're doing all of the things you're supposed to be doing, which I will not get into now, your skin will be healthier. And when you exfoliate morning and night, it is an absolute game changer. You are keeping things off your skin. You are keeping gook off your skin, whatever you want to call it that can seep into your pores, again, that are really hair follicles and begin clogging them. So at the beginning of the uh, prescription sheet, you will see Flawless Exfoliator product, AM morning, PM night. You only need a tiny bit. Peaches, speak out below. This will last you probably four, five, six months. Um, and you get me. You can visit me or you can reach out to me at lisa at peachesskincare.com and I will help guide you. If you're using something else, go and look at the ingredients in this. Although it's hard because so many products do not release their full ingredients list. Although the FDA is cracking down on that and that is a good thing. Um, would I have something? Um, inevitably someone will ask if there's something they can make at home. That is a no. This is what exfoliating should be gentle, pulpy. You want to add a little water to it. You want to work it around your skin in a circular motion, back to your ears, behind your ears, down your neck, down your face. I always say to a new client, whatever you do to your face, do to your neck, chest, and back as well. I hope I've explained exfoliating to you. It is not to be harsh. It is not to burn your skin. Uh, it is not something that's a chemical because all of those will only re-thicken the callus layer later. Think about your feet when you get a pedicure and she buffs all that callus off, but they're worse again within a few weeks. I hope I've encouraged you. I hope that you will ask with love and kindness below any questions you have. Please like and subscribe this video to get my message out. And I hope I've helped all of you uncover your true confidence.